guys, today we're going to learn that cover of Water Volume Sugar by Harry Styles. It's a really fun song to play. If you want the tabs for this and all our other fingerstyle covers, a chance to win a thousand dollar guitar. We're going to be giving away a guitar once we hit a hundred patrons. We're almost halfway there. It's only ten bucks a month for a chance to win a really expensive guitar. And we're going to be starting a monthly live stream where you're going to get the chance to ask me and my team all your questions in real time live at the end of every month. You can get all of those by either subscribing to our Patreon or joining our Impressive Acoustic Guitarist program. Both have all those things. The Impressive Acoustic Guitarist program also has a step-by-step -step structured approach to going from the very basics to mastering the style of guitar. Thank you once again, like always, to our patrons and our program members. You are what helps us keep making these videos and lets us post them on YouTube for free. Okay, with all that said, let's get into learning the song. So there's the verse. We've got a single part that repeats two times that's slightly different, but starting off we've got this. So it's going to be D5, hammer on to D7, then G5, and then a slap with your thumb. Nice light slap, just enough to give it that click sound. Then you're going to grab these three strings. And first finger on G5, and hammer on to G7. I like to give that one a little bit of power because that's the downbeat, so you want to emphasize that and make it exciting. And you're going to play all three again and pull off from 7 to 5.
Then you're gonna slide down, and then you're gonna bar E and B1, and then second finger on G2, and then you're gonna do this. So, strum up, strum down, open D string, and then play with these three fingers on these three strings. So, it's a bit of a weird pattern. That might take you a little bit of practice, but I'm sure you can get it if you just try a little bit. And then up to now we've got... And then here, slide back up. Slide back up to the 7, and then you're going to play A string and G7. So you're playing this A string on both the times that you play G7. Then you're going to play that same rhythm as the strum down here, just with the bar on the 5th fret and your A string. Add that into the first part and we've got this. Add that into the first part and we've got this. And you're going to slide on down to a plain J and C chord, and you're going to do this. So that's A3, and then I'm using my index finger for this one, so you're going to alternate. And then keep your index finger on the right hand, take this second finger off your left, and do a hammer-on to G2. Then so you're taking off that D2 there. Then you switch into a G chord and do this rhythm. So down, down, bass. Down, down, bass. Down, up, down. And that right there is the full line. So starting from the beginning, it's going to be like this. And you repeat that exact same thing again from the beginning, except this time instead of the hammer on here. I like to do a slide, just to give it a little bit of a softer feel than that first one because it's not the punchy intro. It's now midway through the verse, so we want to keep it nice and smooth and flowing well. But otherwise, everything's going to be the exact same. And then you continue on. So here's the entire verse start to finish all together. That's the whole verse. Now maybe on to the second section, the pre-chorus. So starting off, this one's going to lead in right after the verse, so there's going to be a few lead-in notes before we go into that downbeat, and that's going to be the... So you see what I mean better if you're following along with the tab, but that chord is going to be your downbeat. So you got to slide with your pinky to the 5th fret and then back to the 3rd. And then this chord, B1, G2, 
And then you're gonna play those four strings and a hammer on to B3 with that pinky. So then you're doing the A string and then take off that pinky and play these three for that chord. Then go all the way up to this pinky on the E5 and slide down. And then a C chord minus this uh, third finger. Then alternate. And then your D string there. And on the slide here, you're gonna end on E1. And then we got a slap and full C chord. And we're gonna do three hammer-ons with this pinky. And then we're playing all four strings. And then A string, then G and B string. And then one, three, one, zero. One, three, one, zero, to a G chord. So we've got... And then this is our strumming pattern on the G. So down, 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 up. And you repeat that same thing a second time. So there's the full pre-chorus right there. All together, it's gonna sound like this. And that's the end of the pre-chorus. After that, we're gonna move straight into the chorus. Alright, so you can hear that we've got this repeating rhythm of and then a chord. We're going to do that three times with a slight variation each time. So to start off, you're going to slide into that 7th fret, play that twice, 5th fret twice, 7th twice. And one thing I find useful for this one is because it's all on the same string and this part is pretty fast compared to the rest of the song, with your right hand, try and alternate between your 1st and 2nd finger each note, and that's going to give you a lot more speed than if you're trying to do everything with that single finger. I'll do that any time I've got a repeating section on just a single string, and that'll really help you get that speed up. <clears throat> then we're going to do a power chord form on the 5th and 7th fret. I prefer to do this one with the, s with the bar there but you can do whichever way is easier. And then we're gonna slide in to give it a nice slide sound. And then you're gonna mute all the strings and do a percussive slap at the same time. And the key here is that we really wanna emphasize this rest in between so it gets punchier and we can get that crisp sound we're after. So to do this mute, you're gonna play the chord and you're going to give just your standard side hit with your thumb there, 
but also bring these three fingers down to just rest on the strings so that they mute the other strings. And you can practice just doing that a few times to kind of get the hang of it. Then we're going to do the same riff. And this time we're going to slide into the 5th fret on D, G, and B string. You can do it like this, how I play it with a bar, or again just do an A chord shape if you find that easier. And then once again end with that slap, I'm going to do it a third time. And then down to a C chord. And then a hammer on pull off with this pinky on B3. You can see there, I'm just doing B1 four times after that. Again, use that same alternation on this right hand. And then switch to a G and do down, down, up, just like in the other section of the song. And then we're going to repeat that whole thing. So right there, all together, here's the full chorus. And there's the whole chorus. So that last thing I did on the second uh, run through of it was so down, 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 up, down, down, down. And then you end with that same riff again. And there is the whole chorus. Okay, so you're gonna play that whole chorus and then you're gonna go through and do the verse, pre-chorus, and chorus a second time to kind of follow along with the actual song. And then on the second time you go through the chorus, you're going to end it by going into the bridge. So you can hear that's one line that we're repeating. So we're going to end the chorus right here, and then you're going to take your pinky and slide all the way up to that 10th fret on the B string. One key to actually hit it is look directly at this 10th fret, not over here, with your eyes so that you can actually visualize where you're aiming to, and then you'll find that your pinky has a lot better time actually hitting that fret. But you're going to slide up and then do this. So 10, D string, 8, 7, D string, pinky on G10, then G9. And you slide down, pinky on B8, and then a bar on D5 and G5, and you do this. So what's moving is this pinky and this second finger, both on the B string. So all together what we've got so far. And 
And then I do a similar rhythm. We're grabbing a C chord minus the second finger and adding on the pinky on E3. And you're gonna do a similar rhythm. So I'll play A string and then the top three strings at the same time. And then you do So that's playing, keeping this in place if you can. You can take it off if that's too big a stretch, but you're gonna do pinky, then let go of this, and you've got a bar on the first fret of the B and E strings. And you're gonna play that a few times. So you're gonna be here, and then you're going, then you're gonna lift this first finger up out of the bar so that you can play G0, B1, and E0. So it's that first string that's doing this. And then you're gonna slide up for this chord, which is E5, B3, G4, and D5. And I like to arpeggiate that. So you're just playing it nice and quickly but each of the strings individually, instead of a straight up strum or a pick. And play that nice and softly so it gives a cool ambient feel. So right there, that's the entire bridge. You're just gonna repeat that line and here's what it sounds like all together. And then you're going to go straight back into the chorus one last time. Play that to the end, and there's the full song.